the analyst desk. Thank you very much, guys. We're joined here by uh, the Unicorns of Love's Visit Trachi after that win over SK Gaming. Fantastic. Uh, SK Gaming with that are now sharing first place with Fnatic after their third straight loss, and you guys gave it to them. Um, talk to me about picks and bands, and specifically the fact that you got your hands on that NAR. Last week, you gave it up once in favor of a Jarvan. Did you realize that that was something that was definitely something you had to get? Um, yeah, definitely. We consider the NAR pretty high priority again. However, we have some junglers that we think are more worthwhile picking, so that's why we first picked the Nidalee this time. So, actually, SK had the opportunity to pick the NAR, but they chose the Lissandra instead, which is like a totally normal choice as well. Mm -hmm. The two pl top laners are like pretty even. Uh, they have really strong team fighting potential, like good laning phase as well. Uh, but I was happy to get the NAR because <laughs> I was planning to play him, actually. And just looking at the team comps, did you feel like you guys won the pick and ban phase? Uh, yes, definitely. Yeah, because again, when you come to double AD, we talk about this, I saw there was some discussion on Twitter as well. When you pick Leona into a double AD comp like SK Gaming did, I feel like it's so risky because if you, if you don't win like on 15, 20 minute point, if you don't get a massive lead right there, yeah. then Leona won't add anything because you want to like peel for the 280 chaos and she's not going to offer that except for like a little bit of CC, but the likes of Jenna would have been so much better. What is your take on these double AD compositions where you don't run like a disengaged support and you pick Leona instead? Mm, I personally like to play against it. I wouldn't like to play with it. Uh, it's really strong if you master it. Like we can see it in the Korea. If Faker plays Ezreal mid, everyone can be <laughs> super afraid because he will just hit every single Q and be a monster on it. But you really need to master these team comps to be effective with them. And uh, I think it's exploitable as well yeah. for some extent. Like we have the Severe, which is a great engage tool. Yeah. And some CC to back it up is really easy to engage on them. Now, let's actually take a look at your team comp in actions, get a replay up on the screen of one of the dragon fights. You can take us through that and how you played that one. We can roll the clip. Okay, so we discussed that you want to take the Drake. I don't want to use my TP yet, but we see a good engage opportunity here. They mm -hmm. uh, engage on us, I TP in, and we call the uh, Leona instantly. But then Hillistan gets a really good stun onto the Lissandra, so we instant try to burst her down. Um, you get caught here Svensk for a second. Yeah, I got caught here for a second, but I'm still super tanky, so I can just join my rest of the team, and we can just clean up with Cassiopeia from now on, and Sevier will help a lot as well. Yeah, and I guess in this case, or in this situation here for you guys, your comp, at least in my opinion, would outscale SK Gaming's pretty easily, especially with you going Thornmail, Randy, and so on. I mean, late game here, did you guys know as after you won this fight, and if you can, if, if you went late game, that it was going to be okay, or did yeah. you feel like SK still had a chance? I, I even said I think that if I get four mail, I will just be able to tank the double AD so easily, and I can it may be one be on any of them as well during a fight. Yeah. I just very very quickly want to ask you because we had Yamato Ken and Losak here, the coaches from Giants and MYM before, and they said they feel like you are one of the best top laners here in Europe. How do you rank yourself among the top laners? Are you up there? Are you top three for sure? Or what do you think? Um, I think I would consider myself something like top three, yeah. Um, I still have a lot to improve because I haven't been performing too good in the LCS. Uh, in scrims, I actually do better nowadays. So maybe it's the stage or something. But I think I did good in this game. Hopefully, more games are to come. <laughs> Diplomatic. Well, very good from you guys <laughs> in this one, bouncing back and beating SK Gaming the Unicorns of Love. In just a few minutes, Rocket will face off against H2K. The question is, can Rocket keep their momentum up after beating Elements last week? Stay tuned. You'll find out in three and a half. Hey, forget what you see people? that. Do you see the, the, the thing? Give <laughs> pain forgiven. Was it Greek people? I, think, I think it's Greek, I don't know. <laughs> Solar Flare lands, Power of Evil, picking up Freddy, one, two, two, the Stone Gaze, Svenskaren, a double kill for Power, they're looking for more, Tower goes down, Frozen Tomb, Gillisang going to evaporate, Freddy is going down as well, Fox picks up a killing spree, but a double over to Power of Evil. Okay. Got there? No! Oh, and they hop right over him. He's going to frozen to himself for just a few moments. Vincent Chachi going to be able to finish him off. Power of Evil takes the end of the solar flare. The Unicorns of Love have done it. They take down SK Gaming. 